Today's video features a review of the Urevo foldable treadmill, a brand I've reviewed twice before here on this channel. I'll go ahead and link those videos in the upper right hand corner in the cards. Urevo currently offers three treadmill models on their website, all under $380. I'll also go over the difference between all three of these Urevo treadmill models towards the end of this video, so feel free to stick around if you're interested. This treadmill retails for $369, an attractive price considering its quality and compact size. For now, let's get into a few details on this product. This product has an easy folding mechanism and a soft drop design. It takes under 10 minutes to set up. It has a folded size of 55.2 inches by 27.8 inches by 5.1 inches. This treadmill stores easily under a couch or bed, and it's 5.1 inches in height. It has a 3.0 peak horsepower motor with speeds ranging from 0.5 to 8.7 miles per hour. It has a large, multi-layer treadmill with dimensions of 16.5 inches in width and 45.7 inches in length. They have 12 preset programs with an LCD display displaying time, distance, calories, and heart rate. So now let's begin the setup process. I currently have the treadmill all laid out behind me. So this is what the treadmill looks like with all the accessories. Here we have the user manual, we have the safety key, the remote control, all the necessary tools as well as floor mats. So this is what the user manual looks like. Here we have a packing list, the product structure, and the instructions for assembly. So we have two knob sizes. The longer knob will be on the bottom and the shorter knob will be on the top. First, we're gonna place a gasket on the longer knob and this will go on the base. Next, we're gonna pull up the handlebar. Screw in the two knobs for the base. Once again, you're gonna use the longer knobs. Next, we're gonna screw in the two shorter knobs for the top handlebar. The last step is to attach the safety key and you're ready to go. So before using the treadmill the first time, they do recommend that you lubricate it and they do include two bottles of 25 milliliters of lubricating oil. For the first time, you're gonna apply half a bottle of oil to the treadmill. So as the instructions say, you're gonna apply the oil underneath the belt. You're just gonna literally lift it up and apply it beneath. So the goal is to place the lubricating oil towards the middle of the belt. Next, you're gonna turn the treadmill on to distribute the oil. And then you're gonna let it run for one minute. So I just finished a quick jog on this treadmill and I do have a few initial thoughts. First of all, if you wanna increase or decrease the speed, you can do so in 0.5 increments, so it's less sensitive than other treadmills in that matter. So you do wanna be careful how many times you push the plus or minus button to increase or decrease your speed because you don't wanna get in over your head. The belt feels quite smooth, especially after I lubricated it. As this is a compact treadmill, it may not be suitable for taller people, but I am five foot four and this size was perfect for me. On the display, it shows the time, the distance, calories, and they also have a heart rate sensor on the side right here, which I did find to be quite handy. 
So this is what the control panel looks like. We have the increase or decrease buttons. They also have various programs that you can try. And here's the start and the stop button. I also like that we have the side rails right here. Say if you do need to put your feet up to get a sip of water, it's more than adequate. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the remote. Of course, we have this handy little wrist strap. So I'm gonna turn it on by pressing the power button. As you can see, it correlates with the treadmill. And you can increase and decrease the speed once again in 0.5 increments. So right now I'm at a speed of 0.5, and here is speed 2.5, which is basically a brisk walk. To stop the treadmill, I'm going to press the power button again, and that basically serves as a stop button, not a power off button. Collapsing the treadmill is quite fast, it takes just a few minutes. First, we're going to remove the knobs at the top of the treadmill. Next, we're going to remove the knobs at the bottom of the treadmill. From here, we'll fold down the handlebar. The display also folds down. There are wheels at the front of the treadmill for easy transportation. It can easily be stored under a couch or a bed. And once again, the height clearance of this treadmill is 5.1 inches. So if your couch or bed is over 5.1 inches, this treadmill will easily fit underneath it. This model has the same structure as the first gen treadmill with a tray table and the four knobs to collapse it. This model is also the fastest, giving you a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour versus the other two, which have a max speed of 7.6 and 7.5 miles per hour. It has a three horsepower motor, which is the same as a second gen treadmill and better than the first gen. Now I'm gonna talk about the second gen model and personally, it's my favorite model. This has the widest belt, which is 0.5 inches wider. It's also the fastest to collapse. It takes under 10 seconds to do so. Unlike the other two models, this treadmill can be used under a desk, meaning the handlebars fully collapse. Unlike the other two models, this model doesn't have a tray table option, so if you're looking for that feature, perhaps consider the other models. Lastly, we're moving on to the first gen treadmill. So this treadmill has the least amount of horsepower at 2.5 horsepower versus 3.0 for the other models. This model has a max speed of 7.5 miles per hour versus the newest model, which has a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour. This model also has the largest tray table, so if you're interested in that feature, you may want to consider the first gen. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this treadmill. Do you think this treadmill is worth it for the price? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.